Uh, now we're going to be talking to the man who is in charge of this racing programme at BMW. So please welcome the BMW Motorsport Director, Jens Marquardt. Mm. Jens, good to see you. Hello, Nikki. So Hello, finally, everybody. the time has come. It's been f four years. Everyone's always asked me, you know, so when are BMW going to join? And I always have to say, oh, they're going to join in season five. And then they ask why. So now I'm going to ask you for one last time, why have you decided to join Formula E in season five? Well, it's pretty easy. Yeah, Formula E with a completely new concept of sustainability and events within just a few years has developed as one of the top racing series. We have been involved from the very beginning. We've been the vehicle, official vehicle partner of the series. The BMW i8 safety car has been involved from that onwards. And I think we also have been involved a little bit in shaping the series. And now, as Klaus said before, with the Generation 2 car with a new battery, the, um, yeah, the, the uh, car change in the middle of the race is now gone. That was one of the basic uh, prerequisites that we had for joining the series. And I think last but not least, you can see a lot of other, other prestigious OEMs have followed our example. They are either involved or are getting involved. So Formula E definitely is the place to be, and we are there now. So, well, congratulations. It is very exciting. Um, but what are the ultimate objectives? You know, is it about the racing? Is it about the development of the road technology? Why? Well, my goals have been clearly set. So <laughs> sporting definitely is one of the goals that we have. But I think at the same time, we all know that we also use Formula E as a platform to demonstrate BMW technology expertise and obviously with the BMW i powertrain. And at the same time, together with Formula E, we'll bring the subject of e-mobility right into the center of the big cities, right to the people, right to our potential customers. So in that respect, very dynamically bringing e-mobility to the people and making it an experience. Now, in a moment, the time is coming. We will unveil this car. I keep saying that. Um, can you just give us a few sort of facts and figures? You know, what, what, what are the specifications for this new car? Okay, well, some of the standards are it's, it's about just under, uh, over five meters long, nearly two meters in width, about a meter in height. Maximum power in attack mode is 250 kilowatts. The race power is 200 kilowatts. Acceleration, as you said before, the famous 2.8 seconds, 0 to 100. Top speed normal in the race conditions is 240, but it could go up to 280 as well. Maximum regeneration is also at 250 kilowatts. And the weight, including driver and battery, is around 900 kilos. So quite impressive figures, I would say. Yes, indeed. Very good. Well remembered as well. Uh, some impressive figures. Um, and now it is the moment that we have been waiting for. This really is, I think you will agree, the star of the show. So without further ado, it is time to reveal the all-new BMW iFE18. So, what do you think? Do you like it? Was it worth the wait? Absolutely. Absolutely. No, I Pretty think, good looking car, isn't it? I think, as, I think too. Yeah. And it's a, it's a really big moment for BMW. Since uh, the, end of the, uh, the end of the Formula One program in 2009, this is the very first single seater race car that BMW is presenting. So really a special moment for us. And um, I think it looks really spectacular. The standard car is very futuristic. But to be honest with you, it also obviously has the BMW i powertrain, which will give it the performance that we all want to see. Absolutely. Well, it's amazing to actually finally see it. Um, and I'm very pleased to say that actually joining us to tell us a little bit more about the design of this car and the inspiration behind the design, uh, we actually have the head of design at BMW Motorsport here with us. So please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Michael Scully. Michael, I will leave it to you. 
Hi there. How are you guys? It's great to be here. Um, yeah, so I think the most important thing for me first to tell you is that I'm here to talk about more of the subjective side of racing, which is design. And that might not be as easily measured on a stopwatch uh, than some other elements of, of design or of, of motorsports, but uh, nonetheless, I think it helps to make, makes the cars go faster. So um, with that, I think the important thing to talk about as far as our design process is that context is really a critical thing. And when we approached this project, we recognized that formerly E races occur in city centers. This is a dense urban context. And the spectators are actually closer to the track and higher than they mo might normally be. So when we started this process of designing, we actually started with the top of the car, and that was our priority. And the top of the car, you can see here with this initial sketch, has a recognizable maybe BMW DNA starting to come in, but it also has some excitement of trying to express what electricity can mean in a livery. So if we transition from that initial sketch, then maybe, yes, to the top view of the finished car, you can see that we've maintained again these uh, very iconic blue and white corners from the BMW logo itself, um, and they're directly centered over the engine cover, or powertrain cover, I should say, in this case. And obviously, we've put a lot of emphasis on the development of the powertrain, and I think it's a great place to orient the BMW logo, as well as the BMW i logo embedded within that. That helps also start to structure this car. And this car has something where you can see there are strong lines moving through it. Um, but it also starts to give a contrast, this alternating tick-tock, tick-tock. And that's something that we feel is really critical in the motorsports world because these cars are moving very quickly. So when we talk about a livery for a race car, uh, contrast really is a critical element. So we've gained that contrast, but also through an authentic uh, BMW identity. If we start to walk around the car, then we can see how that BMW identity transitions now across the car. And in side view, we can see that it actually gives us this very clean, unifying line all the way down the car, as well as then vertically or slightly slanted and dynamically. Um, and that's an important thing, again, for the contrast. If we start to move around the car, we also recognize that the BMW uh, logo is recognizable in almost every perspective. So blue on the lower right, blue on the upper left. And that's something that we've tried to build into the entire car. Going further around it, we also start to see that it's an asymmetrical design. And I believe that really brings a modernity to the car, but it also gives us a chance that no two views of this car are the same. And there's a spontaneity that comes with that, and that spontaneity fits that urban context, again, of the Formula E races. Again, blue, lower right, blue, upper left. Maybe not quite so literally as some of the other views. We see here the car has an asymmetrical layout, um, and it's probably most recognizable in, in, in this view, but we also start to see this cockpit element that comes forward, this matte black cockpit element. And if I could advance, there we go. This is a, a shared element across M Motorsport and I Motorsport efforts. And so from a, a BMW group approach, this is something that unifies our efforts. And it's anti-reflective for the driver's benefit. And it also references a bit of heritage from motorsport because this is something that's been done for decades and decades uh, for the driver's benefit. And we're kind of really bringing that back as a, a driver focus. 
for these cars. I think it's also valuable to talk about the fact that the color fades very subtly from the front of the car to the rear of the car. And so it starts off with the light blue coming to the dark blue. And that fade or transition is something that obviously communicates motion, but also transition. And when we talk about transition in the mobility business, here we are. Getting into some of the smaller details, um, there's also a connective kind of graphic network within this car. And the colors of this network are blue and purple. And those are really the colors of raw electricity. And so, in fact, I would call this network the veins of this car. And these colors, this electricity, it's coursing through this shape. We also have these small synapses that happen at occasional intersections of the network. And it really starts to express the fact that this is a live system. But I think maybe most importantly, purple is also the color in racing of the fastest sector time or the fastest lap. So from a design perspective, we don't want to put any pressure on our drivers, but it's in the car. Thank you very much.